Okay, the Lord keeps bringing these verses back to my mind for like a week or two now. I've been kind of just like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But no, he's like, you need to make a video. So it's Matthew 12, starting from verse 39. But Jesus replied, only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give them is the sign of the prophet of Jonah. Now, as soon as I heard that this eclipse is going to go over 11 Ninevehs, 11 towns named Nineveh, the Lord put that verse in my head like this adulterous nation, this adulterous generation wants to demand a sign, but the only sign I will give them is the sign is the prophet of Jonah. And right away, he put that in my head. Look at the cities where it will be crossing over. And where do they go? They go over Jonah and 11 Ninevehs. Now, a lot of people debate this, so I'm just going to put it up so that people know. I don't know why people are repeating seven, but here it is. Nineveh, Texas, Nineveh, Missouri, Nineveh, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, twice, Virginia, New York, Nova Scotia, Canada, twice, Kentucky misspelled, Nineveh with a V-A-H. So that's 11. There it is. Okay, so notice he said Nova Scotia too. And how many times have the Lord has been telling me Nova Scotia for like two years now? But I'm sure we're all privy on that, right? We know it's going across uh, the cities of Nineveh. We know it's the time to uh, call out for repentance. And it, it's, we know it's, it's judgment is coming. But I want you to continue to, to look at this. Matthew 12, verse 40. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now listen, the Lord gave me the revelation about that. Jonah went to hell. Jonah died and he was uh, three days in hell. Um, guys, remember how I told you yesterday or the other day that the Lord was saying uh, the eclipse and he was showing me the three days of darkness? Um, do you guys find it a coincidence that um, there's a sign in the sky, uh, the eclipse on April 8th, and in the same context of the Bible scripture, it's talking about three days and three nights. Uh and jesus will be in the earth guys what the lord showed me a while ago is that during the three days and the and the three days of darkness the lord will be ministering to people here on earth and he keeps telling me that we're gonna see him soon now does this mean that the three days of darkness is about to happen i don't know guys i'm just trying to put the puzzle pieces together it is coming together all too well now look at this, Matthew 12, verse 42. The queen of Sheba will also stand up against this generation on judgment day and condemn it, for she came from a distant land to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Now, someone greater than Solomon is here, but you refuse to listen. Wow. And it's crazy because it talks about the queen of Sheba will stand up against this wicked generation right again that's the generation they're talking about on judgment day when is judgment day wow this wicked generation is babylonian system right for she came from a distant land to hear the wisdom of solomon wisdom holds riches in her hand Right now, someone greater than Solomon, Jesus Christ, is here, but you refuse to listen. Guys, you cannot make it up. In, in, in these verses, back to back, it's talking about the sign of Jonah, the, the, the three days uh, and three nights in, in the belly, in the well of the belly, which we know Jesus went to hell for three days, right? We know uh, Jonah. Uh, didn't do what God told him to do so he fell into the the the, the uh, belly of the well but he went to hell for those three days now we have this uh, eclipse this portal opening up and uh, we have the sign in the sky of, of Jonah and what the Lord was talking about was something that did not come to pass that he's talking about now the sign of Jonah which will be in the sky Nineveh and Jonah in the sky and then right after in the same context of the scriptures it's talking about sheba coming you cannot make this up the queen of sheba 
This also blew my mind. You know how the Lord has been talking about an earthquake, right? And uh, people are having earth uh, dreams about an, a big earthquake happen happening in the Madrid, the Madrid fault line. And a sister in Christ had a dream that um, a table was prepared. And before she was able to eat at it, an earthquake happened. And then she knew that the wealth transfer happened. Well, every time in biblical scriptures, when there was a, a an eclipse like the one that's going to happen, it always came with a plague and an, and an earthquake. And what did the Lord show me the other day? Ring around the rosy, right? That's a plague. That was the black plague. I want you guys to take a look at this video right here. You're going you're gonna to have the eclipse on the last day of the religious year. The next day becomes the new year. Then, what, what does Nineveh tell you? That's the book uh, that refers to the book of Jonah, where the reluctant prophet goes in mm -hmm. and he prophesies. Now, there's some history to this around 537 BC before he goes and prophesies. There was a total solar eclipse over Nineveh, mm -hmm. and they took it as a sign back then. They said, this is judgment. This is not a good sign. It's judgment on the Gentiles. Then there was an earthquake. So I believe that there's going to be, uh, after this, an earthquake that will shake America. And it might be at the New Madrid fault line because one of the X's, there are three yes. X's marked out on, you know, mm -hmm. on the map only for America. Um, that's in Little Egypt, Illinois, which is where the New Madrid fault line is. And there was a great earthquake back in 1811 to 1812. Correct. Which a Native American prophet actually spoke about. Did you, did you know about that one? No. no, I didn't. So Tecumseh was considered a Native American prophet. Obviously, he's not biblical, you know, but I believe that anyone who seeks God, you know, God will talk to them. And he said that because you don't believe that I'm a prophet, God's going to stomp his feet on this land. And there was a series of earthquakes at the New Madrid fault line from December 1811 to 1812. Uh, the history says that 80% of the buildings were leveled. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, history's prophecy. That's what's happened before. Mm. Now, the good news is, I think, the good news is, because it's Nineveh, Jonah went in to a prepared place. They knew the earthquake sign. They knew that judgment was coming. And they were humble. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and he says, if you, you know, judgment's coming in 40 days. He didn't even he really want them. Words. Yeah, he didn't, yep. want, he didn't even want them to be saved. Um, but they were prepared. Mm -hmm. So he said, you got 40 days. Now, the amazing thing about that is you look at the Hebrew calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not going to tell you, but you look at the Christian calendar. 40 days from the solar eclipse is the evening. You know, we count the day from starts at the evening mm -hmm. is the eve before Pentecost. So you can wow. say it's, it goes to mm -hmm. Pentecost. It points to Pentecost mm -hmm. on our calendar. It's our, our Pentecost. So what's that? That's the birth of the church. That's the Holy Spirit descending. That's revival. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of good sign for the United States, even though the earthquake would shake us even though there's a, a warning, and this is the final warning for the United States, no, no other country mm -hmm. is getting three solar eclipses marked out only on their territory, matching the Hebrew calendar and the Christian calendar. We're not, nobody's getting this again until Jesus comes as far as we know. Mm -hmm. So this is it, guys. I mean, you need to listen to the prophetic voice and listen to Jesus now.